Annyeonghaseyo! Welcome to Busan in South Korea for Madex 2023, one of my most favorite events. It is a very busy show with lots going on inside. Today I'm just going to focus on the new designs by HHI, Hyundai Heavy Industries and Hanwha Oceans, the two main shipyards here in South Korea. Without further ado, let's go check it out! HHI is showcasing several new models, including the Kato Bar variant of the CBX aircraft carrier project, the latest designs of the KDDX next generation destroyer, as well as a new mothership concept. So HHI is showcasing the latest variant of its CBX uh, design. So this is the new Kato Bar variant, meaning it uh, uses catapults to launch the fighters and arresting wires to recover them. The scale model shows uh, 15 KF-21N fighters, so that's the naval variant of the KF-21 uh, indigenous fighter being designed here in Korea for the Republic of Korean Air Force. There are also two Okai type uh, AWACS aircraft. The design which was unveiled last year as a Stobar uh, design so with a ski ramp, ski jump, uh, still features uh, two islands uh, like the Queen Elizabeth class carrier of the Royal Navy. Uh, on the sign up there, HHI says uh, this design is uh, 40,000 tons displacement. Uh, however, uh, it's difficult to uh, conceive how such a large design could uh, displace only 40,000 tons. Uh, maybe it's just like very light uh, displacement. They designed the Katobar variant at the request of the Republic of Korean uh, Ministry of National Defense uh, as they are trying to push uh, the use of their national fighter uh, for their uh, aircraft carrier, the, the, the CVX project. In this configuration, the CVX is featuring two EMOLS catapults as well as uh, AAG to recover the aircraft. An HHI representative told us that this design is 270 meters in length. This is the latest design of the KDDX Next Generation Destroyer for the ROK Navy. HHI received a basic design contract back in 2021 and is said to complete the basic design phase at the end of this year. Uh, some of the key changes in this new design evolution and also fit being featured in this new model is uh, the bow, so while well, initial designs used to feature in an inverted bow, the KDDX model now features a more conventional bow. The VLS cells amidship has been relocated, so they are off-centered now. Uh, those look like a KVLS2, so the largest local VLS cells. Forward, there's a number of uh, VLSs. I believe those are either Mark 41 or KVLS ones. The KDDX features the integrated mast by Hanwha Systems, as well as two KCIWS by LSG Next One. This is the HDP 2200 Plus. Uh, so it is an offshore patrol vessel. It is a heavier and up armored version of the OPV selected by the Philippine Navy. And next to it is a new concept ship, a mother ship, uh, able to deploy UAVs, USVs and UUVs. It is a trimaran design, very futuristic, laser weapon, many VLSs, uh, very conceptual, so there's no specifications. I uh, don't have the length of the displacement, but it's to show the know-how of uh, HHI and uh, what uh, future ships could look like. HHI is showcasing for the first time the KDX3 Batch 2 design. So the first unit was launched in July last year. This is for the ROK Navy. It is an Aegis destroyer. It looks like an Arleigh but it is uh, quite larger. It features three types of VLSs. Mark 41 for US made missiles, or so probably uh, SM3s, ESSM and uh, potentially SM-6 missiles. It also features uh, KVLS for Korean missiles and a larger KVLS-2 for large missiles, potentially in the future, I suppose, the LSAM. 
I was at the Olsen shipyard on Monday and I saw this ship at the outfitting stage. It's already uh, almost fully completed. So uh, handover, uh, I'm sure, is uh, going to take place uh, pretty soon. HHI is under contract to produce the second ship and the third ship of the class. Hanwha Ocean is the new name of the SME. The rebranding took place just two weeks ago. They are showcasing four new designs or concepts that are pretty interesting, so let's get closer to take a look. This is the Joint Strike Ship concept. So Hanwha Ocean received a conceptual design for this, uh, what is basically an arsenal ship just last month. It is a requirement of the ROK Navy uh, as part of the kill chain of the ROK military, which calls for uh, destroying as far as possible uh, the strike system in, uh, based in North Korea. So arsenal ship means a vessel fitted with many, many strike weapons. Uh, this one features uh, approximately 100 VLS's vertical launch system cells. Forward is the KVLS uh, to deploy uh, KSAM and the midship is the KVLS2 to deploy the future uh, naval LSAM. So those are anti-air weapons, meaning like the Korean future arsenal ships will be able to protect themselves. Where it gets more interesting though is again a midship and aft uh, on the helicopter deck are the ballistic missiles to strike uh, against a land target. They are showing three sizes of missiles, so a small one, medium one, and very large one that basically looks like a space rocket to go inside space. Uh, that's a pretty conventional configuration, but on the helicopter deck, uh, I'm not too sure what's what's going on. I think like the ballistic missiles are so big that they, they cannot fit inside the VLS on the ship. Uh, they told us uh, previously that to deploy those two types of missiles, the arsenal ship would need a support vessel next to it in order to load load the larger missiles on the helicopter deck and then erect them vertically in order to launch them. Again, this is just very conceptual at this time. Uh, by the way, this ship design is based on uh, the SME's original KDDX uh, design, the next generation destroyer. Uh, very conceptual. Uh, they just received the contract for the conceptual design, and uh, I think uh, they're gonna. This design is gonna evolve significantly uh, along the next uh, year or so. The joint strike ship has a length of about 150 meters and a displacement of approximately 8,000 tons. I was just mentioning uh, the fact that the joint uh, strike ship is based on the KDDX. So Anwa Ocean is uh, showcasing for the first time the KDDX S. S stands for SMART and it's related to the SMART Navy initiative of the Iraqi Navy. This design calls to replace the KDX-2 in-service destroyers in the Iraqi Navy. It has a length of 145 meters, displaces 7,000 tons. It features a stealth main gun, laser, energy weapons, a number of uh, very good launch systems uh, forward. A midship, there are some uh, in-deck launchers because the design is uh, quite stealthy. There's four more VLSs a midship. And this ship uh, will also act as a mother ship because uh, you can see a number of uh, unmanned systems, USVs, UAVs, as well as XL UUVs. Anwa Ocean already conducted the feasibility studies with the Iraqi Navy for this, and they are expecting the concept uh, design contract uh, sometime next year. Last but not least, Anwa Ocean is showcasing the Ghost Commander concept. So it's actually a family of mother ships. Uh, this one is the largest one. It's a mother ship for fixed wing UAV as well as uh, XL UUVs and also USVs, unmanned surface vessels. It is about 200 meters in length and uh, displaces uh, 16,000 tons. It has two catapults and one uh, angled deck on a different level, which is uh, very unique, to retrieve the fixed-wing uh, stealth UAVs. 
The other smaller concept is uh, dedicated to a rotary uh, wing uh, UAVs, so basically unmanned helicopters. And there's a third one dedicated to the launch and the recovery of uh, UUVs and XL uh, UUVs. So this is fitted with, also this platform is manned, of course it's the mothership, it's fitted with uh, directed energy weapons for self-protection. Uh, it can deploy a number of uh, fixed wing UUVs, uh, VTOL UAVs and XL UUVs. Next to it, you can see the model of the Comba XL UUV. So, as you can see, as is suggested by the model, it's fitted with uh, flank array sonars for ASW, two torpedo tubes. It can also deploy uh, sea mines uh, to conduct anti submarine warfare. Hanwha Ocean gave us the basic specifications for this XL UUV. It is 23 meters in length and displaces 60 tons. And they actually received the concept design contract for this about six months ago from DAPA.